at school, we've been talking about animals and animal adaptations. An adaptation is a superpower that a plant or animal has to help them survive. It helps them find food, it helps them stay safe, it helps them have a family, and it helps them prevent being eaten. Because mm, they don't want to be eaten, do they? So the one of the animal adaptations we've been talking about is camouflage. And camouflage is when something matches where it lives. So if you had an animal that lived in a green tree, it would be green. If you have an animal that lives in white snow, it would be white. And it's really hard for predators to see if an animal is the same color as where it lives. So we got a class pet as well for a while, or pets, more than one pet. And these are called stick bugs or stick insects. Another name is walking stick or phasmid or we call them stick bugs. Okay, so I'm gonna show you them here. Here's our little stick bugs. And they are masters of camouflage. They're masters of camouflage because their bodies look like what they eat and where they live. Stick bugs are herbivores, so they eat plants specifically leaves, and that's where they live too. They find shelter in the leaves as well. So let me turn this around and let's see if we can find one. Do you see any insects in here? I know it's hard on the video, but does it look like all we see are leaves? Yeah. Well, if you look right here, you'll see a little tiny green thing that looks like a little twig. But it's not a twig, it is actually a bug. And a real insect, not just a bug, but a real insect has six legs. Here we go. Six legs, antennae, Three body parts, eyes, no ears. Do you see our stick bug? Yeah, she's quite cold right now. So we're gonna take her home and we're gonna warm her up for the weekend. But in this tank, there's about 12 stick bugs and we have fed them blackberry leaves and some ivy, which are their favorite foods. Yeah. So stick bugs, they're very, very camouflaged. I want you to look around in Souk if you go on a nature walk or in your backyard and I want you to try to find some creatures that are camouflaged that look just like the environment in which they live. Okay, thanks for learning with me today. Bye.